Shadows cast on the craters and mountains of the moon by sunlight indicate the moon is a solid object. The same side of the moon always faces the Earth due to tidal locking. Here is a diagram of tidal locking. More on this in a future video. Moon phases are caused by reflected sunlight. It is based on the perspective of the observer and the position of the sun. For example, an observer in the eastern U.S. will see this full moon at sunrise. An observer in western Russia will see this moon right above them, no change in phase or size. Even though the observers are 8,000 kilometers apart. This is due to the moon being large and far away due to perspective. The angle between the two observers and moon is too small to notice any change of perspective of the moon's side and phase. Here's a diagram of the angle of view from the Earth to the moon. Is the moon close and small according to the flat Earth or large and far away according to the heliocentric model? The next video will demonstrate what a small, close, and local moon would look like and move on a flat Earth, courtesy of David Ridlin. This next video will demonstrate on how perspective plays a part on why we see the same phase inside of the moon using a ball for reference, thus proving the heliocentric model. Distance to ball is 471 centimeters, ball is 4.26 centimeters in diameter, same ratio from earth to moon and moon size. Side to side movement of camera is about 15 centimeters equivalent of the diameter of the earth. No change in apparent size, phase, nor side of ball. Conclusion, observers all around the Earth see the same phase inside of the moon at the same time as due to the moon being large and far away relative to the observers. 15 centimeter difference from viewpoints between photos. No change in phase nor side due to angle between the photos is too small. Same concept with the moon. Note the angle between observers on Earth is too small. Photo on the right, taken next to the wall for reference. The camera's position moved 15 centimeters to the left on the left photo. 15 centimeters is the same ratio of the Earth's diameter. Distance to ball and the ball size is the same ratio of the distance to the moon and the moon size. Notice the phase inside of ball did not change from the camera's perspective due to the ball being far away relative to the camera and the angle of the camera movement is too small to notice a change in difference. The angle of perspective between the two camera angles and the ball is the same ratio between the two observers on the Earth and the moon.